As a cattle producer, you should be aware of zoonotic diseases. We're gonna break these diseases into two different groups based on how they spread. Direct contact and fecal oral routes. We will start with diseases that are spread by direct contact. Direct contact can be passed by touching the animal or touching areas that are infected with the microorganism that causes the disease. The first disease we're gonna talk about is Q fever. Q fever is caused by a bacteria called Coxiale burnetti and is more common during the calving season. Since the bacteria is commonly found in the placental tissue and amniotic fluids, Q fever can also be passed through urine, feces, and milk. Animals may not show symptoms when infected with Q fever. If animals do show symptoms, they will have weight loss and spontaneous abortion. Humans with Q fever will have fever, chills, tiredness, muscle aches, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and a low fever. To treat Q fever, your doctor or veterinarian should prescribe antibiotics. The next disease we will dive into is ringworm. Ringworm is a fungus that causes a ring-like rash on the skin. Anyone can acquire ringworm by coming in contact with an infected animal. Contacts could include petting, washing, or feeding the animal. Symptoms in humans can include itchy skin, a ring-shaped rash, red scaly cracked skin, and hair loss. Depending on where you had contact will determine where on the body you will find these rashes. Symptoms in animals can include hair loss around the ears, face, or legs. Treatment of ringworm will depend on the severity and where it is, but will most likely include using a topical antifungal medication. Next, we will talk about diseases that are spread through the fecal oral route. The first is cryptosporidium. Crypto is a common disease caused by a protozoa in the cow's intestinal tract. Crypto will be more common in calves than in mature cattle. Symptoms in humans may include watery diarrhea, abdominal pain, vomiting, and nausea. Animals may not show symptoms when infected with crypto, but if they do, they would have mild diarrhea. Treatment for crypto can include supportive care. Supportive care can be making sure to have plenty of drinking water and plenty of rest. Another treatment that can be used is an anti-diarrheal drug. The next most common disease in cattle is E. coli. E. coli is naturally found in the gut of humans and animals and has many different strains. Most of these strains are harmless, but others may cause diseases in humans and animals. Symptoms in humans can include stomach cramps, diarrhea, and chest pain. Animals may not have symptoms, but if they do, they may have a mild case of diarrhea. Treatment for E. coli includes resting and making sure that you stay hydrated. The last common fecal oral disease is Salmonella. Salmonella is a bacteria that can infect a person six hours to six days after ingestion. Symptoms for humans are fever, abdominal cramps, Again, animals can show no symptoms at all or can have diarrhea. Treatment can include staying hydrated and using antibiotics. Thanks for watching. If you have any concerns of zoonotic diseases in your area, contact your local veterinarian or your extension office.